Greetings, my name is Trevor and I'm the producer, host, and founder of Ambassador Radio. Today's album of the day belongs to one of the most influential and also most underrated acts in contemporary rock history, and that is the German group Kahn. It was originally founded back in 1968 by Holger Kruske, a bassist and tape editor experimenter, Michael Caroli on guitar, Erwin Schmidt on keyboards, and Malcolm Mooney on vocals. It is actually their second record. Their first record, which was produced in 1968 under their original name, Inner Space, didn't see the light of day until about 1981, in which it was released as Delay 1968. Khan are considered the most influential band in the subgenre of kraut rock. That would include bands like Faust, Tangerine Dream, and numerous other bands of that ilk. But Khan goes a little bit further. It influenced everything from electronica, uh, later punk, uh, even hip hop and any kind of beat experiment. Khan was influenced by 20th century composers, specifically of a movement called Musique Concrete, which used a lot of tape looping and recording equipment, and also was supposed to use raw material to produce music. Yet again, bringing Khan back to their influence as being a core influence on the eventual industrial movement, which also got its start in Germany. Other influences on Kahn's sound include the German avant-garde scene at the time, the Velvet Underground, and also early elements of punk. Monster Movie consists of four epic tracks. The first, Father Cannot Yell, is very Velvet Underground influence. The following track, Mary Mary So Contrary, is this amazingly playful take on the old nursery rhyme, Mary Mary Quite Contrary. And it's finished off with a 20 minute tune called You Do Right, which actually came from a six hour continuous recording that was parred down to only 20 minutes. This was the final recording for original member Malcolm Mooney. Now, Malcolm Mooney is very important for many reasons. He was an American poet, sculptor, um, musician, activist, an all-around eccentric human being. He actually left the band in 1968 due to mental illness problems. His doctors actually told him to recover. He had to remove himself from the chaotic music of Khan. Now, knowing that Malcolm Mooney was on the verge of a total breakdown, it makes Monster Movie make that much more sense. Malcolm's vocals are at times almost painful, at times spoken word, um, wailing, uh, it's just all over the place, much less considering You Do Right, which is a very much a trans-oriented, uh, epically long track that was cut from six hours of what most likely was a bipolar one manic episode that lasted for about a year. Malcolm was eventually replaced by Dom Suzuki from Japan for what is considered their epic album, Tango Mago. Now, Malcolm Mooney is an amazing vocalist, and very few bands end up getting an equally amazing vocalist, which led to a band releasing four masterpieces in a row. Can we think of many other bands besides Black Sabbath that pulled that one off? Of course, Khan's Monster Movie is available on all streaming services, and it is a necessity of any good record collection. So thank you so much, and until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Baby, 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 it's okay, baby.